left ventricle branch block causes delayed activation of left ventricle, which leads to unsynchronized ventricular systole. It causes slow activation of the left ventricular septum and delayed activation of lateral and basal walls of the LV that can causes eventually depressed left ventricular ejection fraction. It is an independent determinant of morbidity, mortality, mainly when associated with cardiomyopathy and left ventricular dysfunction and is considered non-reversible. Such irreversibility causes LBB and cardiomyopathy act in a synergic manner in order to maintain both situations. However, there are few reports in the literature showing that some patients have an impo improvement in cardiac function with normalization of the QRS and experienced remodeling with pharmacological therapy. A 48 years old woman presented with the complaints of progressive shortness of breath for last three months. She had past history of acute onset palpitation and shortness of breath three years back. That time, she was diagnosed a case of ventricular tachycardia and was reverted to sinus rhythm by DC shock. Subsequent coronary angiography revealed normal epicardial coronary arteries. She was treated with beta blockers for next one year and her LB function was normal and continued all medications for the last two years. At this time, she was in class 3 NYHA heart failure. Blood pressure was 118 over 82 millimeter mercury and heart rate was 106 beats per minute. ECG showed left bundle branch block with a QRS weight of 128 millisecond. Echocardiography showed an enlargement of the left atrium and left ventricle and mild to moderate mitral regurgitation and left ventricular ejection fraction around 40%. She was just diagnosed a case of ischemic, non-ischemic cardiomyopathy. This was the ECG, which shows the left ventral branch block pattern. And she was advised to take frusamide, 40 milligram, spinal electron, 50 milligram, carbidolol, 3.125 to milligram, and ramipril, and ivabradin. Her condition did not improve, rather uh, symptoms or LV function are deteriorating. We failed to increase the ramipril and carbidolol due to low blood pressure. It discussed about CRT therapy, but patient was unwilling due to fun, uh, financial constraints. At this point, we modified her medication. We started ARNI, 50 milligram BID instead of ramipril. We followed up her every six, three months and each clinic visit, 12 lit ECG was made. Every six months, transthoracic echocardiography was also done. Gradually, patient's conditions uh, improved better and functional capacity improved day by day. After 23 months of her diagnosis and after 13th month of in initiation of ARNI, we observed that the LVB disappeared. This is the ECG, which was reverted. Then transthoracic echocardiography was done and his LV function improved remarkably. This is the parameters. LBVB causes diastole and systole desynchronization between right and left ventricle, leaving ventricular dysfunction, shortening of filling time, decreasing septal contribution of the LV ejection, globally depressed EF. Uh, LBVB is related to non-ischemic cardiomyopathy, is assumed that it will be permanent, and some cases was shown where LBVB is reverted to normal with no medical therapy. Present case report shows this patient had exciting improvement in the clinical situation where echocardiography parameters and narrowing of the QRS complex only with appropriate medical treatment. The mechanism may be the medical treatment uh, reduces the edema and remodeling. Uh, con conduction becomes more faster in a, a smaller heart. And then may improve the transmission and anti-angiotensin therapy may reverse the process of cell uncoupling and add beneficial effect on the gap junction, so on the base of the conduction block. So in conclusion, present case shows an ach achievement of direct complete reverse remodeling provided by long-term medical therapy. This case, we could not increase the dose of ARNI and carbidolol up to the maximum dose due to low blood pressure. Even lower dose may be effective in some population group. Probably continuing medication for longer period of time was the reason whereby reverse remodeling and QRS scenario were achieved. However, larger trial needed with new drugs like Arni and Evabredin for a longer duration. Thank you for patient sharing and thank you IPDI.